What's up guys? Welcome back to another video now. I know it's been a while about I think about two weeks since I put a video out. Yeah, I'm a, I'm an essential worker and I work in one of those fields that when stuff is like the way it is right now, they put my ass to work. So I do apologize. I want to do what I can to contribute something to the community as this is something I'm pretty passionate about. And here we go. We have 12 Zeal and Delta Zeal or Shooting Love 10th Anniversary on the Xbox 360, a shooter a region free shooter at that that I didn't I didn't have yet and guys this one's not that expensive this one was I want to say this was like 60 bucks maybe if you get it between 60 and 70 I think that's a pretty decent deal I mean for a shooter on the 360 I know that sounds like a lot of money to most of you guys and it's a lot of money to me but I mean it's a shooter on the 360 we're talking about this one's actually brand new so I actually get to unbox this now there is a version that comes with a CD soundtrack and damn, I want that version now. Eskatos, the game Eskatos, which is a great shooter on the 360, has the best OST I've ever heard of any game, ever. Awesome soundtrack, best OST ever. I want to get that version of Eskatos that actually has the soundtrack in the, in the game. Just like I want that version on this one. But tell you what, for those of you that didn't know, Judgment Silver Sword is actually on the disc. That uh, Wonder Swan color game that's all rare and elusive. That game is on the disc in Eskatos. So just throwing that out there. And there's copies floating around at Eskatos. I mean, not just on eBay. You'll, you can find it if you really want it. But anyway, here's the manual. We got a full color manual here. Um, both of these games on this disc are actually really fun. They have, uh, it's, they're different kind of shooters. If you guys have played any of the other triangle service games, um, maybe uh, 12 Stag, ones that I have. I got 12 Stag and I got tri -Zeal, both on the PlayStation 2. Um, I do believe that Trizeal was actually ported to the Sega Dreamcast as well. I do not have that release. That's one I don't even have a burnt copy of, so I'm sure I could find it on the internet and at least burn my own disc, right? But yeah, I think Trizeal was actually ported to the Sega Dreamcast as well. Um, I don't know too many other games that Triangle Service has worked on or put out. Um, I'm sure there's there's guys out there that know all about it. If you're watching this video, please let me know in the comments down below um, if you want a really... I guess more in-depth uh, review of this game. Check out the Studio Mud Prince video. I, I watched it. It's good. Him and uh, I don't know if it's his girlfriend or his wife or I guess the female that does the video with him. Them two go into I guess you know I don't want to say great detail, but pretty pretty good detail on this release. You know I found out stuff about this game that I couldn't find on the internet even. So they were talking about I don't know which of these games they were talking about, but one of them. Um, they were talking about the processors on the PCB board got so hot it melted the chips or I don't know, something like that. But I thought that was a, it's pretty interesting, you know, pretty interesting intel. But yeah, check out the Studio Mud Prince video on this game if you guys want an in-depth review. I played both of these games at this point. They're both good. Um, you know, just like the Studio Mud Prince video, like, yeah, your hitbox is a little, a little beefier. <laughs> <laughs> in this and need both of these games you know it's not like a giant hitbox um like something you'd see on like a mega drive game or anything like that but yeah you know, a little bit bigger than let's say like a cave shooter where you have like a shining or like cuts where you have like a shining glowing hitbox and you know to keep your eye on that or the things around it not to get hit but yeah these are great games and see that bomb going off in the background like your your super bombs in uh in this game what you're looking at now is a uh, 12 zeal i do believe your bombs remind me of a bomb that was in a game called it's not really a shooter but it was like one of those weird treasure games uh bangayo you know call me crazy but isn't there a bomb in bangayo that kind of resembles the super bomb in 12 zeal i don't know let me know in the comments down below i know there's, there's those of you that are really into bangayo um not really a game i ever got into because i never played the dreamcast version i do have bangayo spirits on the ds but i never really got that into that game played it for a little bit it's like a ton of little mini levels but yeah, both of these games are good. Like I said, this game's like 60 bucks. I think if you could find it for between 60 and 70, you got a deal. I would have preferred to have got this game used. That way I didn't have to open a brand new game, but I mean, you know, what the hell. There's actually a couple of 360 games that I actually still have sealed that I need to pop open, and they are shooters, which is crazy, right? You know, knowing me and how I like to play these games, um, you know, having a playable copy of a game means more to me than having a sealed game any day. Um, and I wish I had more games to show you guys this week. You know, it's just the way the world is right now. It's crazy with the virus and everything. Uh, for those of you that watch my channel, if you're sick, you know, hopefully you're staying home and you can recover soon. Um, those of you that watch my channel and you're older in your 50s or if you're in your 60s, and there's some of those, you guys, I, I, watch, I look at my analytics, all right? And I know that there's people that are 50s or at least Google says that there are. 
in 60s and 75 or over even. That's kind of weird to think about. But if there's any elderly people that like shooters, uh, you know, my condolences go out to you. And if there's any people that are regulars on my channel, if you need anything, I'm talking to people like CeeLo, you know, you know, you can reach out to me and I, you know, I can't hand you the world, but I'll do what I can for you. So, yeah. This is a pretty pretty good compilation of games that Triangle Service released. And there is another Triangle Service game on the 360. It is Shooting Love. I think it's 200X. I actually just uh, ordered a copy of that on eBay for $40. And it's on there. There's a couple. The same person that had that $40 copy had three other copies. So that is a region lock game. So I'm going to need a Japanese Xbox 360 to play it. But I ordered a Japanese Xbox 360. It's actually the Halo Limited Edition Japanese Xbox 360 Halo 4 limited edition. It looks pretty cool. I ordered just the console was 117 I ordered like a $20 power brick and another controller with a rechargeable battery and a cable It was like maybe 160 for everything. I feel like that's a pretty decent deal um, Those of you that have purchased or, or looked to buy Japanese 360s Those things can get pricey and it took a long time to find one for a decent deal on eBay And I was at work and I pulled the truck over on the side of the road Ordered the 360. I was in a pretty good mood the rest of the day, but I knew in the back of my mind it would probably be oh God, maybe a month or so before I see the thing with the way things are right now. You know, I've ordered stuff on Amazon Japan, S Parade, for example, uh, pre ordered S Parade. You know, didn't pre order it through Play Asia, but I did pre order it through Amazon Japan. Got here in three days. I had an unboxing video out on YouTube before anybody that Play Asia pre ordered theirs even got there. So, yeah, Amazon Japan, man, they, they ship just as damn near as quick as Amazon here in the United States, here in Maryland. So, yeah. But anyway, yeah, this game gets my approval. I mean, it's a shooter. It's got to be a pretty damn shitty shooter for me not to like it. And uh, I definitely like these games. So, 12 Zeal and Delta Zeal. Shooting Love. 12 Zeal and Delta Zeal. <laughs> Shooting Love 10th Anniversary. And there's a Japanese uh, pronunciation of that, but I'm not sure what that is. But it's on the Xbox 360. So my job has been straight kicking my ass, but I had the day off today. I had the day off today, so I figure I'd throw some commentary on here and publish this video today. So, um, you know, there's so many things I could talk about. You know, I don't want to talk about what's going on in the world right now because, you know, everyone else is and it's depressing. But, you know, something that I saw that I thought was great was that Tommy Tellerico Canadian Gamer interview. Um, you know, I'm not tooting the guy's horn or anything, but to me, you know, I've watched other Intellivision Amico videos, and that's the best one on YouTube, you know, in my opinion. They go over hard facts, and Canadian Gamer asks all the hard questions, well, some of the hard questions. Um, it's a pretty good video, and uh, you hear a lot of hard, raw data. At least what the guy Tommy says, it sounds good to me. You know, if it's the way that he says it is, it should be a home run, but, you know, there's many sides to every story, and, you know, speaking of that, if I had to I'll pick a video that I would love to see, you know, on the subject, I would love to see, and I think this Tommy guy, he would go for this. I just think that the other party wouldn't. But I think that it would be awesome to see a Tommy Tellerico and Pat Contry debate. Could you imagine that? You know, Pat gets all up in his head. But anyway, here we got Panzer Dragoon Remake on the Nintendo Switch. Just a quick pickup. I couldn't wait for that physical. And I also picked up a Sega Genesis Mini. Yes, with 40, it says 40 games on here. The games on here are pretty good, I'm not going to lie. Um, but, you know, at this point, and I got this flash drive, but I didn't do anything with it because um, I, I guess you can, but I think you can add up to, like, 100 games on this thing. And as of right now, I, I used Hackchi and, you know, downloaded some games onto it, including Xenocrisis. And you can play Xenocrisis 2-player by just adding the ROM with Hackchi. So maybe I'm mispronouncing that. Hackchi. And I think there's a Project Lunar. That's another one. Um, okay, so for more information on that, I'm going to leave another link in the description for a mad little pixel video. And look, when it comes to gaming YouTubers, to me, he's up there. He's high on the list for me because he I, that's where I get a lot of useful information from, from mad little pixel. He has an excellent YouTube channel. I'll go as far as to say, you know, I'm not a fan of Patreon, but God damn it, if one of them deserves it, it's him. He's one of the very few that I think deserves an actual Patreon because he would use the money to actually improve his channel. Um, he probably does have a Patreon. I might go ahead and, uh, and, and Patreon with that motherfucker. I might. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. 
But um, anyway, yeah, all the videos I used of his were the hack sheet videos to mod this thing, and it worked great. And I've done it with other videos that he's had in the past. And I did it with other YouTubers when I modded my PSP back in the day. And, you know, modding this Sega Genesis Mini, it reminded me a lot of the days when I was modding uh, the PSPs. It's just a, you know, I guess soft mod, just software modification. They're crazy hard mods. Although a PSP 1000, I tried to hard mod one of those, and I took that thing apart and couldn't get it back together. So I ended up just throwing it away, but I'm really impressed with the Sega Genesis Mini. Uh, the controllers on here are banging. They are exactly like the original. I mean, I got maybe three or four originals. I could compare them right now, but uh, it just feels it feels like the original, but new. You know, it feels like what this controller felt like, you know, back in the day, and I really appreciate that. Um, I love that it's USB because that means I can use it on RetroArch if I want. Awesome system. You know, very impressed with the Sega Genesis Mini. Now, here's some cereal I got. I'm not a big cereal guy, but I thought this was interesting. And let's see if my dog Bucket. Let's see if Bucket likes the cereal. Bucket. Bucket. Like the cereal? Right, he's eating it. He's eating it. He doesn't eat everything. He eats most things, guys. He eats most things, but he doesn't like, he doesn't like pickles. Doesn't like lettuce. He doesn't like most vegetables, actually. I mean, everything else he likes, so... Here we have the last couple gaming related items that I got over the past couple of weeks and this is actually a Famicom game. I want to say I ordered this maybe two or three weeks ago, but this is a game called YY World 2. It's like W-A-I-W-A-I, -A -A -I, so YY World 2 and so it was actually a previous YY World, but what is YY World? Well, I guess in a nutshell it's pretty much the same, not the same, but it's a lot like FX Unit Yuki in that so Wild Wild World 2 and Wild Wild World, I guess both of them, take different Konami games, different Konami IPs, you know, for the Famicom, and takes levels like Gradius and, you know, different Konami games and kind of mashes them together, and I guess it's kind of like a parody of levels of the game or, or in their likeness, I guess. It, it's kind of hard to explain, but, you know, those of you that have played FX Unit Yuki, it's a lot like FX Unit Yuki, the way it takes the different PC Engine games, like, um, there's like a Lords of Thunder level and a castle or rondo of blood level and you know what i mean and kind of mashes all those levels together in a multi-genre game and this is pretty much the same thing so i'd be interested to hear if sarumaru took some of his inspiration from the wild wild world series you know, sarumaru i'd be interested to hear in the comments down below so the last gaming related item that i got this is a doozy this is one i've been wanting for quite some time here we have a japanese xbox 360 we all know the region locking on the Xbox 360 is a nightmare. Some games are region locked, some games are region free. There's a lot of great shooters out there that came out in Japan that are region free. They're also very expensive. But there's also about half, of, maybe not half, maybe 30 or 40 percent were region locked. And a lot of the region locked games outside of Mushihima Sama are relatively inexpensive. Um, there's actually a game called Instant Brian, I hope I'm saying that right, Instant Brian, that has a port of, a really good port, probably the best port you could find of Dodon Pachi on the disc. Now, I don't have that game and can't stick it in front of you guys right now to prove it to you, but so I've heard. I will probably order that game. I ordered Shooting Love 200X, so that should be in in a couple of days, and I'll probably order Instant Brian. It's a pretty cheap game. There's like a standard edition and a collector's edition. They're both pretty cheap. I don't know. I might spring get the collector's edition. The fucker might come with the soundtrack. I don't know. But here we go. This is the Halo 4 limited edition Xbox 360. This came out here in the United States, but I had no idea this thing came out in Japan. <clears throat> awesome looking system. It kind of has a clear looking plastic where you can actually see inside. Not a lot of scratches and scuffs on this thing. Um, yeah, this thing's pretty... Pretty nice, guys. I'm, I'm really happy. I paid $117 for this thing. And those of you that know Xbox 360s in Japan know they ain't cheap. It's a pretty good deal, at least to me. Anyways, guys, till next time, peace out.